potato. Hmm. Never mind, we'll give it a go. In the Philippines, um, when it comes to families, uh, so much relies upon saving face. So much uh, is in effect dominated by saving face. It is a particular um, characteristic of the Filipina, that they always are so worried about what other people will think. Instead of maybe looking at it, the problem and trying to solve it, the problems often are quite simple or simple in terms of finding a remedy that will work. I'll give you an example. This is hypothetical, of course, but Imagine you're in the West, you have maybe two or three children and you have, out of all of those, you might have one little rogue, one little rat bag and as a result, uh, that one is the one that gets the most attention. The one that is causing so much disruption in the home, has no respect, uh, does their own little thing and you're just giving the proverbial finger. Well, believe it or not, that also happens here in the Philippines. It doesn't matter at what age, you can get a cheeky little snot who will do that and they're only eight years old. <laughs> there again, you could probably also get somebody who's maybe over 20. But they all seem to have a common thread. Because they've been allowed to get away with so much in the past as they're being brought up, again, because Parents often haven't got the time to sort out the issue at its start. Where it starts to annoy you as a parent and you're after all the boss. But they don't see it that way. They see themselves as the creator and they're just the prince and princesses of the family. And regardless of how they might feel that that affects them personally, uh, gives them many headaches and many sleepless nights. They will do nothing really more than say a lot of words, scream a lot of words, and subsequently end up with nothing being resolved. Now we all know, if we bury our head in the sand, nothing will happen. And as a foreigner, we often come along and we have a ready-made family. And as a result, we try and assist and guide and give suggestions as to how best to deal with the issue. For us often and the issue is quite clear. We're standing on the outside looking in and we'll always be there. That's our position in the family time. And when it comes to involving yourself in the day-to-day -day discipline of children that are not yours, you can imagine the best answer will be Mind your own business. You don't understand, they're my kids. Well, of course, that's fine if you're prepared to just sit back and take it. But quite often, of course, these issues that they've created for you and your partner and other members of the family are an issue that somebody has to confront. And subsequently, confronting them is the issue. Yes, they will get mad, they will scream, they will, in their own language, to their children or their adult children or their younger children. And you'll have a general idea what they're talking about because you know why, in a way, they're carrying on the way they are. But as far as putting your tuppence worth in, you can forget it. You can support them by saying, yes, darling, I will do that. Yes, I agree, you should do that. And it's only whilst you're saying that you're only able to keep saying that because they're so, they're so mad at their kid. They want to throttle them. So if you agree with that, you're sort of sympathizing with the way she feels rather than 
resolving the issue. They will say, right, if you leave now, if you go out when you're not allowed to, you know, um, that's it. You can pack your bags and you can leave. You're old enough now, you can sort out your life on your own. Of course, they do mean that when they say it. But underneath the skin of a Filipina, especially a mother, there is this nurturing that will not allow to see their daughter or their son roaming the streets with nowhere to go and no guarantee of safety. So you will be, if you have that kind of problem in your family, you will be constantly on eggshells. You will be wondering what's going to be the next move. And of course, if you bring it up as a subject because it hasn't been addressed, you'll be told things like, um, don't bother me at the moment, I need to focus on my work, or something like that. Uh, which really is, again, pushing the problem under the carpet. Now, tough love, we all know in the West, is really the only way to deal with it. But of course, tough love uh, is not a concept that Filipina uh, can understand, let alone practice. So really, I suppose as the head of the house, uh, the stepfather or the husband, or not just the partner, long term, you have to learn the skill with your wife, your partner, your girlfriend, how to deal with this. And that's going to be an extremely difficult task. It's something that may take you many, many years to master. And if you think you've actually mastered it, you may also have to think again too. So I hope that this has been a helpful reminder that we as the foreigner into a family situation don't always have the ability and the skill required to deal with these situations. And we just either have to get used to it, stand back, observe, get frustrated, be annoyed. But most of all, we have to learn to try and support the partner, girlfriend and wife through these very difficult times. And just hope that in time, the problem child will see the error of their ways and will eventually become a worthwhile citizen here in the Philippines. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification button also. Press the one where it says all. Bye now.